Nadszedł czas zmiany, przejścia do prawdziwego działania Wszechświata. I nadszedł czas, aby zrozumieć, że używamy stanu materii, by osiągnąć poziom zrozumienia duszy człowieka. Teraz rozumiesz, być może, dlaczego Kreator wysłał swoich posłańców w imię tego, co miałeś. To oni przynoszą uszy, aby można było ich użyć, gdy nadejdzie czas Mesjasza. Mogę nauczyć duszę i przesłanie. Nie by się przeciwstawiać, ale poprzez ich zrozumienie przez tych, którzy stali się Mesjaszami, aby dawać ze swoich dusz, aby ich elewować. Zadanie stało się łatwe. Szkoła jest tutaj i uczniowie są tutaj w oddaniu. Wtedy nie będzie żadnej walki między tym, co nazywają muzułmanami a chrześcijanami. Baranek i lew będą jeść i spać w tym samym gnieździe. Chrześcijanie i muzułmanie będą spać i modlić się w meczecie, w tym samym kościele, w imię ich dusz, nie w imię religii, które są używane do tworzenia tak wielu konfliktów, dla korzyści tych, którzy byli hiperaktywnymi dziećmi. Nadszedł czas. Czas zmian jest tutaj. I jak powiedziałem, moje życzenie jest moim rozkazem. Jeśli pragniesz ujrzeć pokój, droga pokoju jest wyłożona bardzo wyraźnie. To dusza świadomości zbiorowej. Poprzez dawanie stworzy tą pozycję zmiany. Nic innego. W duszy człowieka nie ma długopisu. Jestem pewien, że po wejściu do społeczności uniwersalnej nigdy nie zobaczysz niczego zapisanego, ale równowagę pól w duszy egzystencji. Staraj się być na tyle pokornym, aby nie stać się aroganckim w mocy, którą zrozumiałeś i posiadłeś. Inaczej wpadniesz w tą samą ścieżkę kościoła i meczetu. To jest to, co obiecaliśmy i to właśnie dostarczyliśmy. Musimy zrozumieć działanie duszy. I musimy zrozumieć, że dusza człowieka jest gwiazdą w kosmosie Wszechświata. Jeśli porównamy duszę człowieka i tak wielu nas, 7 miliardów w jednym zbiorze, Ziemia jest jak galaktyka z tak wieloma gwiazdami. Kiedy patrzymy w głąb Wszechświata, widzimy galaktyki z setkami milionów gwiazd. Podobnie jest z planetą Ziemią. Niesie 7 miliardów pięknych gwiazd, które są duszą człowieka. Niesie z sobą duszę tak wielu trylionów zwierząt, roślin i wszystkiego innego. Jeśli więc patrzą ci, którzy nie widzą fizyczności Ziemi i jej zawartości, co widzą? Widzą galaktykę z wielką ilością pięknych świecących świateł. Każda według swojej siły. Każda zgodnie ze swoją pozycją. Niemowlę ma piękną duszę, podobnie jak staruszek. Dla tych niefizycznych, którzy nie widzą fizycznego wymiaru tej planety, ale widzą siłę pola, jesteśmy gromadami gwiazd. Ludzka rasa, każda pojedyncza dusza, nikt z daleka nie widzi. To jest dusza rybaka, to jest dusza kosmologa, to jest dusza prezydenta. 
Wszystkie świecą bez względu na fizyczność. To jest magia. O to, co nowa nauka musi przynieść człowiekowi. Kiedy patrzymy przez naszą duszę, widzimy tylko gwiazdy w innych duszach. I to jest przełom. To jest zrozumienie. Na tym właśnie polegają te wszystkie nauki. Dojście do dojrzałości następnego poziomu, aby zrozumieć daleki kosmos. Wszechświat jest ostrygą dla tych dusz, które służą. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy do wejścia w kosmos. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy, aby stać się częścią uniwersalnej społeczności, która została obiecana. Nigdy nie obiecywałem wam nieba. Zawsze obiecywałem wam elewację człowieka, aby przyłączył się do rodziny. A teraz macie klucz. To wy musicie otworzyć drzwi, aby zrozumieć, że mogę elewować duszę tych ludzi lub milionów innych dusz, że fizyczne życie na tej planecie zmieni się. Wtedy jestem godny bycia częścią społeczności uniwersalnej, by być, aby służyć, aby się rozwijać, by być tam, aby być częścią, że w cyklu życia wszechświata staje się w byciu częścią, staje się częścią totalności. Kiedy człowiek osiągnie ten punkt, pojawi się nowy wymiar w sile duszy człowieka, który jest poza wyobrażeniem zrozumienia życia fizycznego. To jest brama do otwarcia nowego życia w nowym wymiarze, co jest poza wyobrażeniem tego, co mogliście nazwać nowym początkiem, nowym cyklem, gdzie ten cykl niesie ze sobą źródło stworzenia życia we wszechświecie i unikosie. To jest elewacja duszy, aby służyć. Stała się kluczem. Nie trąż życia fizycznego. Czas jest odpowiedni, nadszedł czas, aby człowiek przeszedł przez ten proces. Welcome everyone to the 377th Knowledge Seekers Workshop here on April 22nd, 2021. This is a broadcast of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute Education Department and part of the public teachings in English. And once again, we are joined with Mr. Mayran Keshe of the Cash Foundation, and I believe he's ready to go to present today's workshop. Hello, Mr. Cash. Yes, good morning. Good day to you. As usual, wherever and whenever you listen to this series of knowledge because of Cash Foundation Space Shield Institute, <coughs> we welcome you back to the one of the first series of teaching, which is a follow up to the last teaching. We usually do not follow up the teaching before, but as we've gone into the extent of understanding the knowledge of the creation and understanding the work of the fields in the universe, we try to make like following up teaching that we can continue to expand because the knowledge is so deep, it cannot be taught in one or two sessions. Today is one of those. Last week, 
we started with the talk about the hormones and how the soul of the man brings in the knowledge, the information, not only in the dimension of the physicality, but in the dimension of the strength of the soul itself. We understood that man has two parallel lines which runs together. One is the knowledge in the level of the universe, and one is the knowledge in the level of physicality, man, physical dimension. One affects us in how we run our affairs in the control of our physical life, and one is our soul as an entity of dynamic fields interacts with the other dimensions and other souls within the universe. In a way, if we understood a little bit more in the depth of the teaching of last week and past few weeks, man lives a dual life. Man lives a dual life because we are both aware of it. We have always been aware of it. We call it a dream. We got in touch with our father and mother and our friends and others we do not know. And we woke up and we said we were, had a dream. And sometimes these dreams come to reality. Sometimes these dreams become part of us in the dimension of the physical life, which means our soul in communicating leaves some imprints which we recognize, and then we come to it. Sometimes we see that I've seen this situation before. I've been here before. Where in fact your soul has been through the scenario, has brought you here. Boy, this is where I brought you. Look what you've done. Why you are here. In a way, man sometimes in the dual life comes to understand that what our thought is like a deja vu is in fact physicality matches the travel and the dimension of the soul. Not all the time is the same, but some of the time. And as the soul of the man communicates in advance, and what is the reason you have to be in this position in the physical dimension, man sees it as, I remember, I've done this before. Which means that's the point when you have to think, why my soul has brought me here? Why my action of physical life has come to be in the dimension of what we call the dimension of physicality, as much as has been in the soul. In so many ways, mankind has come to a start to understand he has two dimensions of life. Mankind now understands that the way we spoke about the information in the dimension of the soul of the man becomes in the dimension of the physicality of the man. Man, we call it in a way to control all aspects of life, receives the communication, receives the energy from the soul. And as we talked last week, needs to decipher this information, this energy. In so many ways, mankind now understands he always lived a dual life, a life of the soul within the soul of the physicality, two independent entities, but by chance, by the structure of the work of the universe, have to collaborate. They each live their own lives, but they each collaborate to bring the things together. When the physicality does wrong, the soul in conjunction with his work, bring the man to understand what he's gone wrong to. We first saw this in a very strange way in the knowledge and the research of the Keshe Foundation, which we showed you in ILS, where the man wished to die and the physicality to the acceptance of the soul accommodated. We have shown this in past six, seven years in many tribes, that why a man's wish leads to the physical disability and a physical departure. 
we could see a clear separation between the work of the soul of the man and the work of the soul of physicality, where the two agreed, we agree on the departure in such a way. And then the soul of the man released his energies to lead to the departure at that point. In a way, the programming of the separation of the two starts by the mutual agreement of the two and a second of what we call a wish, the emotion triggering of the separation. In that process, now when we talk about the glands within the brain of the man nearest to the soul, we come across an strange position that we see that the soul of the man works from inside out and the soul of physicality works from outside in through the transportation of the emotion through the blood circulation. And when the two agree through the neural system, the man agrees the dimension of the physicality to be matching to what the soul of the man and the soul of physicality have agreed to, what they call psychosomatic. In a way, the emotion now receiving agreement between the soul of the man and the soul of physicality dictates the physical dimension and performance. In so many ways, for the first time, man has opened his eyes to the dimension of life, the true life of the man, where we can now, if we educate ourselves, or we create a condition in the dimension of the physicality that the soul can expand beyond the physicality, we shall see the soul of it. In a way, in a coming time, in the system which is just initiated in the Keshe Foundation Research Center, and we will see it in a coming time to be shown, we can dilute the field strength of the environment that the physicality becomes like the sugar in the water, cannot be seen, and the soul shines. In this process, then we can transmute the soul to a new position and then the physicality to follow at the point of the manifestation. Depending on the wish of agreement between the physicality and the soul, you can appear in China as a Chinese, you can appear in South America as American, and you can appear in Africa as an African, but in fact, the same soul. Or you wish to keep the constituent of your body as it is and appear in Africa, the same as you were in Europe. Now we understand this knowledge. Now in a new system, which is initiated by Keshe Foundation, and you will see it as a new cycle of transportation and transmutation of the body of the man. We will show how by creating new dimension, you will allow, can I have a share to be able to share the screen, please? We will see how we can to come to understand, to be able to transmute the body of the man from one position to another. In so many ways, mankind needs to understand the process of transmutation of the energies of the body of the man and not the physicality of the man. In the process and in understanding that we have to, we need to understand this process, mankind becomes educated in the style of life we live, in the style of life which is available to the man, in a way that in a new dimension of the transportation, transportation, we create a, we create a field which is at the strength of the dimension of the gans of physicality of the man, that the man become diluted. Even though it keeps its constituents as a physicality the same. And in this process, then we see the manifestation of the soul. We see the appearance of the soul of the man. That in that process, mankind become to a new strength of understanding that he can transmute his souls. And in that dimension, he can transmute his physicality through the dimension of the energies of the universe. Rick, can you give me the possibility to be able to share the whiteboard, please? In this process, mankind will now 
enters a new dimension. In a way, we can create dimension field of the strings immediately at the point of the soul of the man within the center of structure of the body of the man where we can transfer where we can communicate both same time between the soul and the soul of physicality where the physicality will follow in so many ways mankind has run into a new dimension of understanding of his own creation. Mankind has reached a point of the maturity to be able to understand he lives in two different strengths. Maybe for the first time, the knowledge seekers understand when I explained that the physicality of the man is a leech over the soul of him, where in fact, the physicality protects in so many ways with the armament of the physical body of the man, the soul of the man, to stay safe, to be able to travel in different dimensions and dominions, in different strength. In a physical dimension, we travel with the dimension of physicality. In a dimension of the higher order strength, we travel with what we call the dimension of the soul of the man. Mankind now has a choice. Mankind, through the new development of technologies, has the understanding of the totality of the knowledge. In so many ways, mankind has the possibility to be able to share the total understanding of the purpose of his creation. That's why in the very essence of 171 or 177 teaching, we talked about the creation of the children in the physical dimension and the children of the soul of them. In so many ways, mankind has become very wise. Mankind has become wiser to understanding of essence of all his own creation in the dimension of the soul and in dimension of what we call the spirit. In the recent past, we start opening this dimension for you to understand more. For man to understand that he can create field forces, that he can exist in both dimensions where the soul of the man has the power to radiate the stronger than the soul of physicality and bring it under protection when it's needed and return back to when it's needed to manifest itself in the dimension of physicality. Now we have the development possibilities in the dimension of the life of the man to extend this to be able to allow us to do the transmutation and transportation. Do not forget, as we taught you how to travel in the dimension of the soul and how to travel with the UFOs and the flight system, which follows the structure of the work of the universe. Mankind, in so many ways, has come to be able to extend this now in a much smaller way to the dimension of his own physicality. If we don't want to travel in a community and we don't want to travel within a physical dimension, now with this new knowledge, we can show we can transmute the body of the man. And once you learn it, you should be able to do it yourself. In a way, you learn how to allow the soul of the man to extend beyond the physicality. This process needs a lot of understanding. This process needs a lot of work by the knowledge seekers who are deep into the science of the creation. In so many ways, mankind needs to step up. Mankind needs to 
evolve into a new dimension. I do apologize, as many of you know, when it comes from March to June, I suffer from the hay fever from pollens. So it's always has this problem for long time. In the process of understanding, we see the totality change. We see the understanding of the new knowledge that mankind can deeper go into the structure of the creation. In so many ways, in the teaching of today, we will touch a new dimension a new understanding of the present understanding of the physical life. How us, how our body in matching the copy of the structure of the physical brain of the man, as I've said in many teaching, has created substations across the body of the man. We call them glands. If we look at the structure of the most of the glands, which are control through emotion, have the same structure more or less in the dimension of communication as the brain of it. This is how we know the glands are part of the central control, substations from the main, what we call station, which itself receives energy from the source, which is the soul. In a way, we see for the first time Physically, as I explained last week, why hormones are so effective. For the first time today, we tried to explain to you why many of you get addicted to so many drugs, be it sex, be it cocaine, be it alcohol, be it sugar. And in that process, how addiction has a balanced information energy, the same as what we call the hormones. I've asked Rick in the background to make some things ready that we can process. And we can teach that now for the first time, you understand how many of you are addicted. And when you reach the point of satisfaction, reach the point of matching the same that you don't need none, you don't become addicted. We see this in the point of maturity of the man. As we grow older, we see we have done, we have created what we want to create. We have developed what we want to develop in our physical life. And we gradually step down from what we used to be, what we used to be active in creation, and reproduction. When we look at these dimensions, we understand more. We see how the soul radiates, and immediately the glands within proximity of the soul being able to create packages of energies we call hormones, convert the emotion of the soul to the dimension of what we call the physical hormone of the man. But beyond it, immediately, between the glands which convert the energy of the soul to a hormone in the physical dimension, we have the same field strength glands, which man has not up to now understood, which convert the hormones in the dimension of interaction of the fields of the physicality for the soul of the man. I explained this last week, and many of you now gradually start to understand. When, for the first time, I share the picture that the soul of the man sits within the center of the brain of the man. It became a little bit puzzling for many of you. Let me get you a picture if I can. And I'll explain to you in a very simple way. In this process of understanding mankind, has become very much wise to the process of the soul of the man. Mankind has become understanding a new dimension. 
what I'll share with you I need to be able to share on the second one, please. Can you allow me to share on the second screen? Okay, thank you very much. What is interesting is this. If we look very much at the center of this picture, We see the two points, the two glands. And if you look, the world of science has always seen this cavity, but they just left it. Because it was nothing there, we cannot explain. But immediately around it, you see the two glands. Thalamus. And uh, the two three gland. And when you read in the science of the physiology of the man, you see how these two control everything to do with the dimension of physicality. What you call for the production of the hormones, they associate themselves with every dimension of the existence of the man, from age to everything else. In so many ways, mankind for the first time understands how the soul of the man has been so centralized that he could never understand. He could never comprehend the totality of it. Why hormones suddenly appear in such a place, such a strength. Carbons of order of 44, hydrogens of order of 60s, massive amount of nitrogen, or massive amount of high, um, for oxygens. And then why do we have such a prominent increase always in the strength of the carbon and hydrogen in all the, what we call hormones? Why has anyone asked the question? Because it sits next to the sun. It absorbs most of its energy which is convertible to the level of the physicality, I mean, acid of the mind. In this process, for the first time, we understand how this works. And then I asked Rick to have some dimension of some hormones in the chemical combination and some of the drugs. If you can put it up, Rick, if you have managed to attain it, then we see that the drugs have the same kind of energy combination near to our, what we call hormones. They carry a large number of carbon and they carry a large number of hydrogen energy packs, which is very near to the hormone, which means they can replicate, they can perform dimensions and directions in the essence of the creation of the totality of the energies. If we look in a chemical, what we call formulas of the drugs, and we look at the chemical formula of the hormones, we see a massive similarities. And if the scientists understand this, if the knowledge seekers of the true science of man be able to follow this, they come to one point and understand how addictions can be overcome. Because the hormones and elements of addiction have a common denominator, link numbers or near enough of carbon, which is a connector of energies and hydrogen, the energy itself. In this process, we now understand how drugs have been so effective in the body of the man. We understand the totality of the creation. We understand we can create conditions from the dimension of physicality of drugs like cocaine, 
and others that can lead man to produce natural hormones, which can affect, interact, and bring a dimension of bringing the proximity in extremes of the soul of physicality to the soul of the man. In a way, if you understand this, we understand why when people take drugs or they're active in certain ways, we tell them they hallucinate. They don't hallucinate. They actually create a dimension of opening to the soul of the man at the level which the soul interacts with the dimension of physicality. We call it the hormone. If you're man of science at the level of understanding the creation and hormones and the rest, this is a gift to the knowledge of the man. For the first time, we can see how the hormones and addiction to certain drugs in the number of intensity of the carbon and hydrogen allows a linkage and allows man to in some processes of more matching values to see the soul of the man, to become as part of the hormone, to even bridge beyond at the level of the hormones of the soul of the man than the hormones of the physicality of the man. In so many ways, why do we see hydrogen and carbon? We all know, we all have been taught enough that the carbon is a link corrector in the universe and hydrogen is the energy which is converts into carbon-14, what we call deuterium. In a combination of the processes, now we understand how what we call some high-level energies in the physical dimension, which man has had problem to create or control in a form of what we call addictable substances could, due to the same structure as the others, be able by energy level to reach and to be able to transmute between the two. In a way, the mankind for the first time sees beyond the line. Mankind for the first time can understand the process of the creation. There is one fundamental point that has to be understood, and that is the hormones work in the dimension of the energies within the vacuum condition of the body of the man, and drugs are near same energies in the dimension of the physical matter of this planet. In this process, mankind becomes very wise in understanding how even we through high intention can change the dynamism, can change the process of in the way creation of the hormones, which can genetically through the wishes of additional energy change the physicality. Because now we understand more in the science of creation. Now we understand that high values of carbon and high values of hydrogen in matter state substances and in a plasma states as hormone can, if brought together in a different condition, replicate each other, interact with each other, because with the highest spectrum of number of the carbon in a plasma, they have a more possibilities of interconnecting in the spectrum of the different strengths of the carbons. When you speak, a hormone has 40 carbon, all the 40 are not of the same strength. The 40 are a combination of the spectrum of the strength of the carbon in the plasma condition for the connection with the others of the same. The same with the hydrogen is not that if we speak about the hormone with 50 hydrogen, is that there are 50 the same? No, there are 50 isotopes. If they were the same, 
they change into helium, change to the next step up. In a way, we don't see them as hydrogen, we see them as deuterium. We see them in a shape of combination to become helium. And we don't see that except in certain parts that in the test in the Iran nuclear reactor test in 19, sorry, 2008, we showed the creation of a high field radiation, nuclear field radiation out of helium. Read the patent. In the patent, I have explained how what we call inert gases can be used as a nuclear test ground for creation of life. This is how we have, for example, krypton. We have helium in the body of the man in a field radiation, in a nuclear structure that allows the combination of the physicality of the soul of the man to be able to expand in different dimensions. This is why in a teaching last week, we spoke about the sulfur being as a point of the division between the energy and the matter and why what we call the phosphor has become the backbone of the DNA of the man. The last limitation, there is a big possibility when the man goes in a higher order of strength, we move up as phosphor being the backbone of the DNA of the man to potassium, to calcium, because then we take a different structure. Then we understand different positioning. We saw this, we know this because for what we say in the body of the man, if we change one element in the body of the man to potassium, we all will be green in color. We know this because this is how it will change us in different dimensions through the interaction of the hormones. What is the difference between the man and the vertical people? What is the magnesium? Where, what is the iron? Then we understand more how hormones have been operating in the background, converting the energy of the soul of the man into the dimension of the, what we call energy strength, which converts itself to pattern of the fields of what we call the plasma of the guns of the body. This way, mankind now has seen, now can develop new technologies. This is why I said, if, the nuclear physicists would have understood they made the biggest mistake in abandoning nuclear technology in what we call late 1900s, would have gone and developed more understanding of a deeper, <coughs> in a much deeper way, the knowledge of the nuclear, mankind would have taken a totally different course. We only saw how we can benefit by little energies in nuclear power stations. This is why I have requested the Iranian leadership to abandon the work of negotiation with Iran and the five plus one, because they have to be taught we made a mistake. We need to develop the nuclear industry in much deeper way because it's the essence of our own creation in the dimension of looking at total understanding of nuclear industry, nuclear interactions in the world of creation. This is why in the coming time in Tehran, we start teaching the depth of understanding of totality of the nuclear industry where with the wrong pressures has been abandoned because we have not understood the totality of the work in the dimension of our own physical body, why our lymph is transparent, what level of nuclear sources are within it, that it changes it to what it needs. Why did we only go for producing energy in 
electron vibration to create heat to benefit from it from our electrical energy sources as nuclear power stations. The true power of nuclear sits within the structure of the body of the man, which we have no knowledge. We need to understand in a new way, in a direct way, the creation of the fields in different levels of the strength in the world of creation, be it from the soul of the man, transformation to what we call the hormone of the, at soul level, to the hormones, at the, what we call physicality, and then understand then how these are in a way divided, subtracted, subdivided into cells, different cells of the man, where the same nuclear process becomes the energy supplier transmitter and at the same time transporter of the energy. The biggest mistake man made was to put a halt into understanding of the nuclear technology because we only looked at the energy. We have abandoned, we have put a halt on the totality of the knowledge that from now on we teach heavily, extensively <clears throat> for man, not only to understand the nuclear industry in depth, but the true way of how nuclear material work in the universe from rotation of the planet, from the radiation of the stars, from the radiation of the soul of the man to become the planet we call the physicality of the man. Now we come to understand how mankind needs to grasp, to understand the totality of the knowledge of the nuclear industry to be able to understand how to convert the energies of the physical dimension and energies of the soul of the man in a Gans condition in the body of the man to be able to transmute and transport itself across the universe and at the same time be able to transport and transmute the soul of the man across the universe in an instantaneous time. As I said to the Iranian scientists in past few days, we have developed technologies that we can transmute, we can transfer, we can carry both the physicality and the soul of the man at the same time in the dimension of physical time. We have to become the planet, we have to become the star that not only carries its own dimension of the strength, but within it carries the dimension of the life, the creation of the transmutation in the packages of weaker energy that we can live, we call life, and it can be in any dimension in the universe. In a way, we have moved from walking on two legs, which we developed to using the donkeys and horses on the four legs, and then we even went further, we made them to work on the four wheels, and then we went further to burn some fuel to fly like the birds. Now mankind with this knowledge given in past few weeks should be able to fly the same as the soul of the creator in the dimension of the soul of the man. The more advanced knowledge brings the revolution in science and technology. Now, if the scientists understand the effect and the energies of the hormones which they work with every day, and then convert it to understanding of the higher order in the nuclear reactor base systems, which we showed in Tehran, we showed in other places in application of understanding, then mankind will become the new travels of the new age of the universe. In so many ways, we have a problem and our problem is that we have left the affairs of the man in the hand of a bunch of incompetent scientists who are mainly in the profit of their pocket, have abandoned to the pressure of the politicians and the bankers. Where we have to look in the dimension of the strength of the energies of the universe, 
develop new technologies, develop to understand the work of the body of the man, the work of the bodies in the universe, and develop these technologies that man become in a level to understand part of the totality of the creation, not by burning coal and some woods, and then when he sees something coming out of somewhere, not being able to control it, they call it a nuclear, and with all the commotion we have seen with it. Now you understand, as I said, why the new structure and the policy with us sets to teach the nuclear technology in depth, the way it's done in the universe, and not the way it's done in what we call in the embodiments of the nuclear technology of today. We have to learn from it. We have to understand how the body processes very fast the separation of the matters in a way washing up materials in the body of the man, of the energy of the plasmas, which are at the level of the plasma radiation. At the moment, in the nuclear industry, we call it enrichment. The body of the man enriches continuously 24 hours a day, every millisecond and every second. We take potassium. Immediately, the body puts in the centrifuge of the body of the man and creates potassium 40, which creates a condition of the plasmatic radiation into the body of the man that allows division in the soul and in a way by creation of what we call hormones. When we eat meat, when we interact immediately, what does the body do? Centrifuges the cobalt. What do we do when we take high sugar? Body effectively pushes the hydrogen into a deuterium combination washing of the plasma, not as you look at it in the matter state, into the helium in a vacuum condition of the body of the man creates alpha radiation in a plasma level, which leads to the deviation and division of plasma condition in the body of man. And this is exactly, if you read pattern, the main pattern of Keshe Foundation is there. How come having a fast centrifuge in the matter state is a criminal offense by five plus one, but when our body does it every day, we live, it's our life. This is where I tell you hypocrisy has taken over. This is what in the process of coming time, developing a much faster nuclear based natural sources within the structure of the Keshe Foundation enhancement units, we allow both the life and the soul in the dimension of transmutation and transportation of the science in the coming time. Now you can see why I have asked the Iranian leadership to abandon the talks of the enrichment of Iran because he can have it. We give you all our rubbish. We gain the knowledge we needed from it to be able to understand the essence of creation. If you are so backwards that you stay on it, keep it. Because if our body works as a centrifuge to continuously separate the elements of the potassium to wash out, to purify, to reach to what we call potassium 40, to what you go and call the first thing, good morning, you're pregnant, can you take folic acid, which is a radiation source, now is a criminal, you are criminal in the body of all members of five plus one sitting in negotiating committees because you haven't even understood the essence of creation. Mankind should have learned much faster. Mankind should have been knowledgeable to understand our body is a cleaner to bring the essence of what it needs. In so many ways, we have to understand why do we need higher speed centrifuge to wash out more radioactive purified system, but our body does it without that kind of thing. When you understand that the hormones work 
with the high package energies, which they radiate right across the body of the man, then you wonder why do we need a neurosystem? But in a way, the hormones are what we call magra. And the neurosystem are the creation of the inertia to create manifestation of the physicality from the same source. And in that process, if we add, understand, and keep the production and creation of the high level of what we call nuclear-based radiation in the plasma strength, then we understand we can transmute, transport, and live in all three dimensions at the same time, as does the earth, as does the sun, as does the creator. Sometimes in this world of the science development and understanding of the knowledge of creation, mankind has made mistakes. And it's good to be mature enough to accept and go back and look at the whole thing in a different dimension and direction in totality, where what we learn and what we can add on to. In so many ways, mankind has reached a point of maturity. How come we are creating this massive centrifuge for separation of plutonium and enriching uranium? Where in the body of the man, the same radiation field for separation, for release of energies is done day and night. We have to transfer. We have to be able to bring the knowledge from one to another. Maybe some of you now understand why we push in this dimension. Why we expand and extend the knowledge of man, because for the first time, mankind can understand, it can use the field radiation, even in the fast breeders, even in the present nuclear power stations, to create new hormones that matches the physical dimension, hormones of the physicality of the man, that in that process, we can reach to understand the energies of the soul of them. We abandon the technology which worked for centuries to understand at the point of its maturity, and this is wrong. And this is why we advocate understanding and the new teaching in the nuclear industry to be able to understand the nuclear structure of the body of the man. We have gone for the crumbs where the actual cake is sitting on the table to be eaten. And this is totally to, due to arrogance of American scientists because they never understood. They stole the nuclear technology from the Europeans at the outset and they ran away when they thought they understood and they built the first Hiroshima bomb. They abandoned the most unreliable nuclear scientists advice we have to listen to on the American nuclear physicists. Irresponsible and totally ignorant of the truth. In the condition of understanding, British nuclear physicists understood more in so many ways, would have gone the right way during the development. The Russian nuclear physicists, in conjunction with the British, at the time when the Americans stole the knowledge of creating atomic bomb, that was the point when mankind started going wrong. In, in a way, taking the crumb and run with it, and saying we got the cake, the cake of the nuclear science and technology of the coming time sits in Tehran and it'll be developed in Iran in coming days and weeks. We give you the Natanz as a gift to your ignorance, where the true knowledge of the science of the nuclear industry sits within the structure of the physicality of the man, which carried by you as knowledge seekers. You understand more now than the most what we call prestigious American ignorant nuclear physicists who have done nothing but to steal technologies and claim to be theirs, and in that process have abandoned to understand the truth about the creation. Now you understand why 
I asked the Iranian leadership to abandon the negotiation on purification because we understand the true essence of nuclear purification within the body of the man, which needs to be understood to be able to create the condition of transportation and transmutation, not only in the matter state, but in the energy state, in the field, in motion as energy, which leads to the dimension of reaching the soul of the creator. As I said, mankind has to become knowledgeable and go back to understanding in a deeper way, the knowledge of the nuclear, nuclear purification, how we prepare the energies as our body does, we wash it up, we don't separate it. And in our process, we can create, we can push some elements to become sources of radiation, to become the sources of the, what we call plasma radiation in nuclear plasma technology. This is how our body does this every minute of it in the glands, in the brain of the man. Now, what God has done in every second of creation across the universe in the dimension of physicality has become sanctionable and in a way out of the ignorance of American administration and scientists who told lies to their people as never they understood. When you're stolen, you try to protect that the others don't see, but you stole the crumbs from the British and the Russians at the point of the development of the nuclear industry at the beginning of the time in 1940s. And you thought you have the cake. My friends, you have the most rotten crumbs ever on the table. Because you did not understand the process of a nuclear plasma, creation of the what we call transmutation and transmutation of the fields from of the plasma to radiation fields, which is the higher order to travel faster, to reach to the point to deliver the energies faster, as it happens in every cell of the body of the man, every second of his life. And if we understand this, then we even can understand how life can be eternal and we do not look for the fountain of youth as our life as a soul will stay always the same. In so many ways, mankind needs to become wise to the knowledge of the creation. Mankind needs to become to see with a vision of the soul of the man by evolving and developing the vision of the sight of the man. In so many ways, we need to evolve, not to see with the eye of the physicality, but to see with the eye of the soul of the man and understand the information of, understand the totality of create systems and knowledge that allows us to see in a way with a vision in both dimensions by being able to strengthen the vision of the man in two dimensions in enhancing it to the level of acceptance of it by our own physicality. Today, later on in the second part of this teaching, we show you the first, what we call vision enhancement unit, which we have developed and in a limited numbers will be put on the shop of the Keshe Foundation and we want you to feed back to us. This is the first time we do open testing with all of us, but we cannot go and get it done. We get it done by knowledge seekers. We want you to report back to us over time, what you see, the visuality, what changes in your physical dimension and what changes in dimension of your behavior by wearing this vision enhancement unit. In so many ways, we want people who are committed to expand the knowledge as one race across this planet, does not matter where you are. In a way, some of you might say, I see no changes, which means we have not managed or the system is not as the strength of understanding of the soul of physicality, but wait and see what you change in this behavior. 
in different condition of understanding of totality. In the coming weeks, we introduce a, what we call integrated system with this, what we call vision enhancement unit, which then it allows us to see if we can enhance the hormone condition, where we look for the enhancement of the hormones of the soul of the man, not in the dimension of physicality. I have made these two units and we gradually bring the two together. We have, we will produce in the next 12 months, a limited number of these. And we sit to see the feedback. We don't want you to write to the Cash Foundation to feedback, go to testimonials, go to what we have in Golden Age of Gans and put it in public. What has these new vision enhancements has given you? You are accepting to become a test ground for new understanding, elevation of the physicality and soul of the man in which dimension of the vision. Now, as I said, we make one nation out of the Keshe Foundation and we are one nation. We totally, in totality, we enhance to understand this. We don't go for some people who read some books and then it doesn't fit what they read because they have peanut brain in understanding the totality of the knowledge. You knowledge seekers are more advanced than the most advanced nuclear physicists in some of the universities in the world, because you look at the knowledge in the essence of creation. Let them to become the first grade, first class student where you can teach them. I've seen this with our friends in Tehran, that teaching Iranian nuclear physicists the new vision in the world of science and technology that the Iranian leading nuclear physicists are baffled in how this knowledge has come from Iran. And now they have to understand it as a knowledge seeker, understand more about transportation, transmutation of the fields and energies that they do. Even though they, most of them, are leading nuclear physicists in the world. They lead because the others are trying to stop them growing faster that we cannot catch up. And as is what we see, five plus one sanctions. We sanction the Americans by the knowledge of their own ignorance, where, as I have asked the Iranian leadership at many times, I said to abandon the talks. You don't negotiate with ignorance of the knowledge. We have to teach. We have to bring a position that the American nuclear physicists understand what is understood by the Iranians, by the Chinese and the Russians, and not to leave them in shame and embarrassments of the ignorance of 50 years ago knowledge. In so many ways, we have still to make a family out of all. When we have a backward child, has not educated, we don't abandon it and just teach the others. We bring the Americans on the umbrella of the teaching for them to understand that maybe one day, one day they learn something that they can add to the knowledge of mankind. I'm not anti-American, I'm anti-ignorance. Those who by stealing technologies on the name of a company or a nation have brought false information to humanity read about the history of the nuclear industry in 1940s and how the Americans, when they thought they had it, they ran and they made it a nuclear bomb and they betrayed the French, the British and the Russians, which are all working together as one scientist. The theft has to be covered and we see the reason of it so 50, 60 years later today with the stupidity of sticking to energy of just heating water as a nuclear industry, and then what they saw as a nuclear bomb, then the understanding of the truth about the nuclear technology in creation of hormones, hormones of different strength and two dimension of existence. In so many ways, we have to become mature to understand and admit we made a small deviation in the way home, we go back, to the track where we started, to the knowledge that original scientists like Tesla brought us. The beloved Tesla 
brought a knowledge that the present nuclear physicists of the world have not even understood the beauty of it, the grasp of its knowledge, and how if we would have carried on with understanding the soul of the knowledge of Tesla, we would have reached far beyond achievements than today. The hormones are created out of the reduction in the strength from the soul of the man in a condition of the nuclear plasma reactors that they chew out by filtering exactly the same field of strength as a given hormone, attach it to something and then release it. Go and read about the hormones in your pituitary gland. Go and read in about the hormones in thalamus and see how the body has created the packages, what we call purification, we call it the process of centrifuge, and then chuck it out as hormones. And attaches it to something which at a given point can attach itself to the amino acid of the, what we call DNA, and convert itself at a given field of strength to a cell of the body of the man. Purification of the energies through the centrifuge of the attachment to an element in the body of the man, we call hormone. And to the physical man, we call it nuclear industry, what we call purification. Because we didn't understand it. We reach to a level, we separate it. Our body even packages the energies from the soul, attaches it to a strength which can connect itself with the phosphor and others to what we call the DNA structure of the sulfur and the phosphor, and then brings out in some with a sulfur content, with nitrogen content, with everything else that can have a link to the amino acid of the man. Then when you look at some of the addictable materials, you see a nitrogen connection into it. Why? Because this is how your body allows the nitrogen in a given consistency of a double field balancing twin system, create a phosphor effect near to the phosphor energy, which becomes and behaves like a hormone in the body of the man. Then we call it addiction. Then we call it purification and understanding of the totality of the creation. Mankind's ignorance to the knowledge of creation has become the noose around his neck, not only for itself, but for the others. Today's teaching and what I started last week, and as I said, from 21st of April, we break through in a massive way. Now we are opening that way. Now, in understanding of it, we allow mankind to enter the true world of nuclear industry, nuclear of plasma, what we call radiation life, what we call the essence of creation. Without nuclear, without nuclear radiation in plasma level, mankind would not exist. How come you sanction for the matter state, but you don't sanction your own body to grave for what your body does in purification every second? This is what will become the cornerstone of the creation. This is what we said has become the starting point of the new knowledge for man to become the knowledge seeker of the universe and not this planet. This is the beginning of the new cycle of Mitra. This is what the creation has brought us and what the cycle of this new life will have both the dimension of the physicality and the dimension of the soul of the man together at the same time that allows the man to be able to live in both dimensions. I salute you, Mitra, with the soul you have brought. And in so many ways, we respect the new knowledge of understanding of the plasma nuclear technology, 
that with it allows us, us as mankind and the other lives in the universe to evolve one step forward to the dimension of being closer to understanding the totality of the creation and the knowledge of the creator. In so many ways, if you understand the transformation and understanding of the new technology, which is now becoming apparent in the teachings, you'll find out one point, that no life can live anywhere in the universe without the knowledge of the plasma nuclear technology. Because nuclear is not to be in the center of nucleus, but it is to understand the working of the interaction of the matter states fields and the plasma state fields, which lead to the creation of all. Then you decide in what strength you want to operate under. But there is a very big point that maybe in the future time, one man or one creature in the universe will answer what is the structure of the fields of the DNA of the Creator? What does make his helix structure? Uh, what are the amino acids of the structure of the physicality of the Creator? At this moment of time, to you, sounds like hypocrisy. Like, my God, this is whatever you put name on it. But if we accepted that he says, I made man in the image of myself, not only in the dimension of the soul of the man, but in the same process as the physicality of the man. I can, you are part of my physical confirmation of existence. The point is very deep, if you understand it, in knowledge and understanding. Then it comes the truth. What is the purpose of the totality of the, what we call nuclear plasma technology? With this new technology, how many things we can change? Those who work with me, they know. I leave it to the dimension of the soul, even when it comes to the cancer. I try to show the dimension of the physicality in accepting the process of creation, not to interfere, but to allow to understand. What have I asked in the hormones of the soul that my physicality is following in the dimension of existence? Why then you understand some people in the middle of having a massive cancer in one day, in one month, this appears in the dimension of physicality. Because they change the hormones in the strength of the soul of the man, and in the dimension, create and release, clean up the purification of the energies within the hormone of the, what we call physical life of the man, and in the dimension of the soul of the man. The world of science of what I call, you call, health, we enter a new dimension. Do we need to go and repair, or do we deliver energies of the specific source to the soul of the man that that changes the dimension of physicality? We look for what we call alkalineness. Do we need this, or can we touch the soul of the man in the dimension of the hormones of the physicality, or hormones of the soul, and within seconds, there shall be no cancer. But it's us who has to accept the dimension, why we asked for it, and what was the reason for it. Then it comes the truth that how with this new knowledge, we can transmute between the soul and the physicality, and clean up any unbalances, not only in the dimension of cancer, but in the dimension of viruses, where we scan our body through the spectrum energies, any point in the universe, 
that no virus can touch the physicality of the man in the dimension of acceptance of his energy by the hormones. Now maybe you understand for the first time how viruses attach themselves to us because they have a link in connection to our hormones and they can mutate through the harmonic structure of the physical part of the body of the man. Go back to the teaching and I always said, viruses find a common denominator to the amino acid of the man. But one thing I didn't tell you is that they connect first in that, in the plasmatic section of it, which is what you call the hormones. Now you understand how easily we use cancers in the Iran report 2020 about Corona. We touch at the field strength and at the strength of the amino acid. We interact as a plasmatic stage and does not matter what virus in which part of the universe takes place, we can interact, we can interface because now we work at the hormone levels, at the higher order energy, before it becomes a matter thing, plasma at the gans of the cell of the body of the man. Thank you very much, Rick, for a beautiful collection of knowledge as you put it on the screen. It's fantastic. In so many ways, mankind has to enter a new dimension of understanding in the structure of the soul. We can teach these now because we work through the Keshe Foundation TV channel. Let the YouTube take the ignorance of their people who are paid by the paymasters to take what is the new knowledge that they can keep man in ignorance. As I said, in the second section of today's teaching, we open you to a new dimension. And then in the coming weeks, we open more into the dimension of working more in the strength of the fields of the creation and understanding of the totality of the strength of the soul of the man and its conversion to elements of the physicality. What we call trying to strengthen the dimension of the hormones of the soul than the hormones of the physicality. In a way we call it hormone, but it's nothing but packs of energies which can exist in the dimension of physicality in respect of the position and the place. One is weight and one is mass. The weight is the physicality and the hormone. The mass is the soul and the what we call field energy hormone of the solar. In so many ways, slightly higher order than the order of the field strength of the hormone. If you remember, some years ago, knowledge seekers start finding the energy of the soul of the or what element is the strength of the soul of the and I tried to guide, I tried to explain, but they wanted an element which confirms the existence of their soul. Now, maybe for the first time, the answer to you is very simple. If you look at the energy pack within the highest hormone, within the two glands, within the center of your brain, then you understand the soul of the man has to be by order of magnitude so much higher that it reduces within a fraction of the micron to the energy of these hormones. In addition, having the hormone of the soul of the man to allow the creation of its physicality, the heartbeat of the soul. Of the man. In the coming up technologies, which will be shown by the Keshe Foundation in the next few weeks, as the technology is going through its development, we show you systems which interact with hormones. Hormone enhancement units, which are developed and being strengthened through understanding work of the knowledge of the creation. Now we know what we have on the table of research and development. 
Now we understand what needs to be done. Now we understand how we have to learn to transmute energies of the hormone of the soul of the man to the hormone of the physicality. And when they match, the dream comes physicality in the dimension of the ayah. Maybe through the teaching of today and last weeks, we have opened a new dimension in understanding the totality. I was told, don't bash the nations. I don't bash the nations. I, I open up your eyes to see the ignorant scientists which sits in some nations and not the nations, as we are all one. These ignorant scientists have held us to the ground and with the teachings of from now on, with an open, transparent knowledge sharing with all of us simultaneously, we led them to show their ignorance as we develop new technologies, new understanding, new dimension in the understanding of the knowledge of the We go to the break. And after the break, as usual, around about 11 o'clock, Central European time, when we come back, I'll show you the new technologies and the reasons we have brought them in. And for you to understand, now we work in a collaboration in structure. And in so many ways, all of us need to evolve in that dimension. I hope many of you will enjoy the new journey in the new science of man and become very fast, wise in understanding the process of creation in your own creative physicality. Can we go through a commercial break and come back? And after that, we try to answer some of your questions as usual. And I'll take you to the first step of taking man to the next stage of understanding what we call the vision of his physicality, if he can, will lead to the understanding of the vision of the soul of man. We have used this in bringing dimension of physical visuality to a number of people around the world in past years, but this is not the purpose this time. Or it might give you some benefit in that, but in essence is starting to show how mankind can gradually enhance the, what we call the hormones of the soul of the man, that the man can start seeing or be interacting or becoming aware of his own soul existence and dimension. Can we go through that commercial break, please? And we come back and hopefully Rick will be there to see how many physical hands will they convert. Or can we hear the hand of your soul? <laughs> 